Today the parish of Holy Family in Moss End, the Diocese of Motherwell, have travelled out to the coast at Salt Coats to say the rosary for faith, life and peace in our country. We have come down today with a full bus and others have come by car uh, to join us here for the rosary on the coast. And some of the local parishioners of St Peter in Chains and Ardrossan um, have also joined us here along with their parish priest, Father Duncan McVicker. Well, it's great because we've all come here for the Rosary on the Coast. There's over a hundred of us in South Queensferry, and it's a fantastic crowd, really. Uh, a little bit beyond my expectations, I have to say. I was wondering whether there was going to be enough room here where we are on the pier, but it's great to be joined uh, from, with Catholics from all over Scotland. There's a big group from the parish in Cleland and St Aidan's and that's come too, and we're very happy to have uh, Canon Clements with us, who is 56 years ordained today. So we received Canning's blessing at the end of the Rose on the Coast, which is very special as well. What an amazing event here for Rose on the Coast at South Queens Ferry. Over 100 people gathered on the pier here to pray for faith, life and peace. And the greatest miracle was that the sun shone and it was warm in Scotland as we joined the 400 plus locations around the coast of the British Isles today, praying for faith, life and peace in our nations. What a great joy it was for us. Well, I think it's just great to be able to uh, bring my family down to show witness in public. And so it was such a, it's a lovely day as it's turned out, but I think God's blessed us with lovely weather. We're doing such a good thing. We're coming down uh, with them and showing the children how you bear witness to faith occasionally. Sometimes it's in public and you shouldn't be embarrassed about your faith. And also thinking seriously about the needs. There are real needs in the world, especially every day we're hearing about needs for peace in the world. So what can we do about it? We can make a little public gesture and of course pray and also pray for in such a beautiful setting as this pray to thank God that we have the gift of life. Um, well I hope that Our Lady hears our prayers and, and that the UK will return to the faith um, or that the faith at least will be people will see it more and want to take part in it and be interested in it um, and I hope that for our parish it will also be a way of renewing people's desire to take part in devotions like the Rosary. We're praying that, uh, that our Lord will hear our prayers and that we'll answer the prayers through the intercession of our Blessed Mother and he'll bring a great renewal, new evangelization of faith in our country that particularly in this year which marks the 50th of the anniversary of the abortion act that the Lord will give us new means to protect life and also to protect women. And that as a result of all of that, he'll give us a peace that only his son can give. And we'll come today to pray for our faith, to pray for abortion, to bring an end to it, and just to come together as a community from Holy Family um, and the sunshine. And so we've had a lovely day today. It happened and it was such a, a good idea for all the coasts all around our country and Ireland to bring us all together and pray for our country in all its needs. 